Look at this. Could it be? Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Oh, that's devastating. Oh, my. What a move. He is slowly getting dissected. And Rob Van Dam makes the cover. And a kick out at two by Jericho. Now oh, there's a smile on Booker T's face. Oh, jeez. Knee to the gut. That'll take the fight out of you. Well, this isn't where Rob Van Dam wants to be. Can he score the pin? One. He's able to get out. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, man. The flames are burning here. Kane makes his choke. And he manages to get the shoulder up. You know, since coming to WWE, Booker T has captured both the Hardcore and World Tag Team Championship, but never the big. Booker T can live his dream tonight in New York City. Nobody deserves this opportunity more than Booker T. Well, I can think of five guys that disagree with that statement right there, Cole. Cole, what you got in mind? There's the inverted Russian leg sweep. It around it's Rob Van Dam with the reversal. Chris Jericho claims to be the king of the world, but will he be the king of the elimination chamber? Will he be the king of the ring tonight and leave with the world heavyweight championship? Well, Jericho seems obsessed with once again becoming the man. To do so, King, he'll have to manage his way past five other superstars, all with the same goal here tonight. Shoulders down. And he manages to get the shoulder up. What a reversal. Whoa, he's measuring. Astonishing maneuver by Booker T. There's the cover. And there's still plenty of fight left. Again, the world title is on the line. He's in big trouble. What incredible agility. Man, that one rocked him. Plastic. The plastic just exploded from the force of that impact. Whoa! That was some reversal by Booker T. And he's forced back in the ring. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. At six foot ten inches tall, at 320 pounds, Kane is the biggest man in this matchup, Cole. And he may very well be the nastiest king to do anything he wants inside that chamber, including throwing somebody right through the steel. Oh, Kane is a dangerous man. There's no doubt about it. And you know, as sick as it sounds, Cole, I think Kane might actually like being locked inside that demonic structure. Chris Jericho will tell anybody with an earshot that he is the king of the world. Oh, he doesn't look like it now, though, does he? No, he doesn't. But don't tell Y2J out. He's had his doubters in the past. And then he went on to beat The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin in the same night to become the first ever undisputed champion. Booker T is a five-time WCW champion and an 11-time tag team champion and a man who owns a tag team victory over Triple H. Yeah, but we shouldn't fail to mention that that victory only came after Shawn Michaels interjected himself into the match and delivered sweet chin music to the game. A win's a win, King. And on that night, Booker T pinned the World Heavyweight Champion in the middle of the ring. Now with complete control. You see that? What a move! What a smart move! Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship back on September 2nd. But if you pull the onion back one more layer, you'll see that the game is 0-6 in Survivor Series. He's winless. We're talking about onions. And normally, Ric Flair would be a huge advantage for Triple H. That's it. He's done. Booker T with a... He may get the three count right here. Jericho has been eliminated. Shawn Michaels gets out of that one. Nice move. Kane is a former WWE champion, and maybe more importantly, four and one. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? He's going for the pin. This could be it. Kane. The final inter-
Intercontinental Champion looking to fend off this attack and add World Heavyweight Champion to his long list of accomplishments. Of course, Kane losing to Triple H at No Mercy in a match that unified the Big Red Monsters Intercontinental Championship of the game's World Heavyweight title. Well, I really hope we see the Intercontinental Championship return one day. Vintage Booker T. There's a cover. One. Two. RVD's out. And I like his chances coming in, Cole. A picture perfect backbreaker right there. He sees it. Oh, gosh. Did you see that? That was incredible. It was like we saw a human wrecky booker. Scissors kick upside the head. And that should be it. trouble there. Oh boy. Man, there's no getting up from that. Will it be? And Booker's done here. It just wasn't Booker's night, Cole. You know, Cole, I hear people say that Triple H doesn't deserve the World Heavyweight Championship or that the title was handed to him. But the... It's oh. time is dangerous for the nation title. Wait a minute, Michael. What is, what is Shawn Michaels trying to do I here? he's going for the pedigree. Triple H is on through. Try to use it against him. Oh, and Michaels dropped on that steal. No, the game was not going to stand for him. Look out now. Oh! Oh, my God! Shawn Michaels sent right into the pod. Through that Lexan. He went crashing right into that chamber. How is Michaels going to survive that? This chamber is so dangerous. It'll cut short careers. In this very arena, at WrestleMania 10, Shawn Michaels squared off against Razor Ramon in a groundbreaking ladder match for the Intercontinental. That's it. He's done. Oh, and there's blood starting to flow from Kane right now. side. Did you see the way his 
hit planted into the floor off that pile driver. He drops the elbow. Drops another one. He drops the elbow. Reversal. Can he follow up? What an impact from that kick! Bam! Uh oh, trying to pull the key. Lance is opponent. This is just Shawn Michaels' second match in four years after sustaining what we thought was a career-ending back injury. Oh, nice counter! Great reversal. damage he can take. Not giving Shawn Michaels a chance to recover. Smart. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. This guy's just getting worn out. Champion. 